Hello, Monsters of Band, and welcome back to Solaris Megacorp and the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC. There's lots of stuff happening. I've gone through all of my colonies, and I'm building shit everywhere. Um, and although Bagui Prime does have a lot of unemployment, it seems they're not actually working all the jobs they could. I'm guessing that's because some of the specialists have actually become unemployed. So we've only actually got two unemployed. Um, I think it's because I rebuilt some of these structures and it takes time for them to move up or down. No, it takes something to move down stratas, I think. So eventually these guys will go and work in the, I don't know, as a clerk or something. I don't know what they were doing before. I think they, maybe they were like refiners or something. Well, tough. You're now going to be pencil pushers. You lazy bug. Well, Probably no pencils in the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC because they're quite pointy. It's probably all done with crayons because they are nice and round and non-threatening. Good. Okay, so we've got Kiflatar Secondus is building research labs. We've got... Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ah, there we go. Uh, Vakradil is building all the city districts. So up to 13, so we just need some more of those. Uh, we've changed a scat. I'm rebuilding shipyards there because we are but one, well, two Elgate in sight, so we're about to get the, the next one. And then I want to build some defense stations at this Elgate over here and then open the Elgates and see what happens because that'll be fun. Uh, something I've never actually done before, although I do know kind of some of the events that come through them, but um, I've never actually done it myself. So I really want to go and poke the Elgate and see what's in there. So hopefully we should get that. Good. Uh, we should get that next tech in one month. There we go. One month there. And I'm actually building a carrier group. The shipyards that I played are just discovery. pouring out ships at this moment in time. And I do have a carrier group in, in production. And actually, our alloys are not too bad considering how much I spent on ships. So that's good. What do I want here? More minerals? I've got kind of, I mean, Citadel. That might be good. Robot modification points, not too bothered about that. Um, let's get Citadel, because stronger stations, I feel like, especially if we open the Elgate and stuff comes out. So it's another... Station engaged. What? Oh, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, these, these outposts go down like, yeah, that was, that was quick. That was quick should just be able to clean this up. I'm just fighting them until they um, surrender. The on these ships. Yes, we did. What's this? Oh, Starbase has been fully upgraded. Good, 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 good. Good. Where are you? What? What's this? The first court. So where do these guys, where are these guys off to? So there must be, I thought maybe this wormhole Led over here. Do I? Have, I need to. I, we, we've got open borders with these, these guys. I could actually go through their space and find out. So, where is, do we have any science ships? You're over there. You're down there. Um, come and explore. I want to know where that goes. I need. I need that info. Okay, we've dealt with that. That's very good. That's very easy because you know. Didn't really put up much of a fight. Sol, I think, is their last sort of defensive system. There is another L-gate here. So if I prod the L-gate, the only problem is they might come flooding through here. So Rakaron might also come under attack. In fact, Rakaron will definitely come under attack. Because, well, I mean, they could come down here. Oh, this destroyer is... It's only got 77 hull points. That thing's basically just holding together. Debris analyzed. Ripper cannons, antimatter missiles, blah blah blah. All good, fab. What are you still fighting? Construction ship. So if you guys come here, we're going to go over here. We're basically just going to capture all their systems from them. Um, I do have this one over here as well. Construction complete. But basically, are they going to? Uh, they're already 100% war exhaustion. The Mirish Corporate Union and the Reavers. The Reavers have been losing a lot of space. Uh, corporate Union just over there. What's this? The Commissarat of Yavas. Are they? Were they like?
I remember seeing, I think they were taken apart. I don't think they've got much space left. They were an empire. They're not much of an empire anymore. Okay, let's come down here. We've got reinforcements streaming in to meet us. I'm hoping that my carrier group will be being constructed fairly soon. Because I really want carriers. I just like the idea of having lots of little fighters. It's very exciting. We built something. Uh, uh, rivals, yeah, don't care about that. Construction queue, fine. Okay, let's go and sort of liberate Seoul, by which mean bomb it. They do have a little defensive station. God, getting a lot of lag. Okay, don't care about any of that. Don't care about that. Not bothered, don't. Uh, that's just, who cares about the debris? They've got a 1.9k station. Unfortunately, we've got, you know, significantly more. This station is going to... Wow. I mean, that did not even slow us down. Let's bomb this planet. This squishy, squishy planet. Are actually humans still on it? Um... No, the humans have fled Sol. Oh dear. <laughs> There's no more humans on Earth. They've all left. I think we've got humans in... I think they're, they're basically a migrant species now. They've had to flee. Complete. So I guess it doesn't matter if we bombard Earth into, you know, smoking ruins, because who's going to care? They've got corrupt administration. Mob rule. Something's never changed. What's happened here? Oh, we've got an election. An election. Uh, do we have enough stuff to actually... No. So we've got two options. Both are 90, so they're both going to drop dead fairly soon. Okay, the Karanis system. Oh, oh, it's, it's spazzing out. No, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. So that goes over there, which is right into their space. Yes, okay, so they must be using that then. That must be what they're using. Okay, well, that's good to know. Is there any other wormholes we could explore? Oh, there are wormholes down here. But they're miles away, and I don't really care, so I won't worry too much about it. Just head back to Bugugi Prime and assist research, because research is very important. 1326. That's good. Actually quite a lot of physics points there. So that was good. I think that was the Leviathan go. I think yeah, I think that was I think that was the no, it wasn't the Leviathan death. Or was it? No, I don't think it was. Uh and then yet there's oh you're Hmm. 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 I think the problem is because only uh, the Bagugians can be leaders, we don't actually have that many Bagugian leaders. <laughs> We've got uh, Nahel there, we've got a scientist, we've got a couple of admirals, and that's it. There's literally only four Bagugians in government, despite the fact they're the only ones that can be um, our rulers. So I think that's causing a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem. Um, do we have... Okay, let's upgrade that. Gun battery, yes. We want a defense grid supercomputer. And... What sort of... Oh, we can get hangar stations. <gasps> oh, I kind of want that. What did that... Do Danites have shields? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here, ah, here's our carrier group. So we've currently got quite a few carrier... It's basically just battleships and cruisers. Just carrier battleships and uh, cruisers. So we want someone who's going to evasion. Nah, I don't really care about that. Uh, weapon damage. I don't know. Is that going to be useful? Sensor range could be useful. Let's get, uh, let's get you. You're going to lead this fleet. For us. Although currently we don't really have much for you to do. Because we're just bombarding Sol into you know its component atoms. I'll have to give up eventually. Acceptance, minus 34. 
What do you mean demanding unoccupied? Hey, are we? We've got all these occupied, haven't we? Have I invaded all the planets? Let's just double... Yeah, that, that one's ours, yeah. Oh, I don't have that one. Okay, where is... Uh... Come here. Land armies. They do have 87. It's just transports, isn't it? They're just transport ships, so that should be no problem. I could actually bring my... Uh, carrier group. Just so I know who they are. Oh, it doesn't fit. Carriers. Doesn't actually... Well, never mind. Just, just come over here. Don't think that'll be a problem. Okay, we missed out a planet. So I think if we take that planet, they will surrender. Looks like we literally complete. just missed one. Do they have... Yeah, we, this, this is going to be pretty straightforward. Everyone land. Hostile takeover initiated. Yeah, they're not going to be able to... Just drop bodies on them. And there we, we go. Built something. Enemy planet incorporated. Revenue projections optimistic. Ah. There we go. That's why they didn't surrender. I'd missed out a planet. Let's send them our demands, and they should. There we go. We admit defeat. We don't think anything more than a temporary setback. Um. I mean, I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, let's go and upgrade our ships. And our carrier group can go back home, I guess. Because we don't need them. Right, we've got a whole bunch of new systems and planets and all that kind of... Oh, God, we've got so many stations we don't need. Right, we don't need that. No, I don't want to do that. I want to downgrade. And you. And you. Right. And that means I think my ships are going to upgrade at one of those stations. So we will tell them to go and just return to I played for the moment. That'll be fine. Gonna go there. We could go and grab this space. I do want to engage. I uh, want to invade. I want to. I want to. You know, take, retake Sol at some point. Even though there's no humans living there now. We do have some humans living in our space. I'm like 90% sure we do. Um, humans. 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 Humans? I thought I saw one. Maybe all the humans are dead. Oh no. Oh no, humans. We've got 15. There you go. Humans running out of space. They are nomadic, adaptive, yep. So at least 15 humans managed to get away. So that's that's fine. That's that's a good number of humans. That's 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 fine. That's gonna be okay. I wish you could move because I mean we've got a lot of patrol fleets here just to try and keep our built something. Um trade intact. I don't think any of them are going there, though. Where are the... You guys, just come over here, would you? It's a little carrier group. They don't have any of their cruisers yet, but I think they're just being constructed. Uh, so we're going to bring down the piracy in this system, because apparently the piracy is quite bad here. I'm going to assume that the patrol routes don't cover it. Your Prathy Commonwealth has made peace with the Asari Decim... Well, hmm, the heart-rending Wombles not doing great. And in fact, we no longer border them because they've lost so much space. Oh, dear. Couldn't stand up to the Federation. We built something. How is Vakdrill doing? That's getting there. It's, it's a slow process building, you know, 50-odd... Well, no, 20... To be fair, 23 city districts. But each one of those takes 300 days. So um, do the math there. 
going to take a few years to actually... Well, in fact, each one takes about just under a year, doesn't it? So it's going to take about 20... Well, yeah, about 20 years to construct all of the city districts. Which isn't actually that bad, considering, you know, some of the roadworks around here can easily take half Another a year. Bleeding edge technology discovered. Ah, technicians. Excellent. Uh, building cost reduction. I don't really bother by that. Zero point. Uh, could do that. But to be honest, we're not having a major issue with energy on our ships at the moment. So it would be useful, but it's not vital. Um, I don't really care about that. I guess more point defense would be quite useful. It's only going to take three months. Look at that. Three months, no worries. Um, I haven't talked with the Caravaneers because I don't really care about doing slots. Um, we've got enough resources as it is, so I don't really need to spend more. How's Scat doing? Scat is upgrading slowly. We've got, yeah, ships being upgraded. So we just need one more. L Cluster Insight, L Gate Insight. It's very exciting. Uh, we've got the uh, Yurtan here, which is bringing in a lot of, well, everything really. Research, we've got more gas. Branch office shut down on Seeker's Landing. Uh, I need more influence. I need more influence. I think the problem is my, my factions are all over the fucking place. Um, so 43% of my entire empire is Xenophiles, which is fine, but they don't like the fact that I've got species-wide slavery and because I, it's one of my civics, I would need to remove the civic to then get rid of that slavery policy. So it's a lot of work. My authoritarians aren't happy about stratified society, despite the fact we do have a stratified society. I think I'd probably have to get rid of all my robots uh, to fix that. So balls to that. Uh, these guys are quite happy, as are... The uh, the materialist faction, apparently, but unfortunately they only make up 5 and 9% of my population. So basically, um, I can't make my xenophiles any more happy because I picked the wrong civic. So it's entirely my own fault. Lessons have been learned and um, probably will be, you know, forgotten and the mistakes remade at some point in the near future. But that's just how I roll. This tech had better generate some revenue. I'm sure it will. Uh, energy credits from jobs, maybe. Gamma lasers. Guardian point defense. Uh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. So these, if this is our carrier. Uh, do we have... Oh, you're using those. What's the difference between this? That's one to six. One to th right. It's, so average damage five. So it's got better tracking. Um. I'm going to do something like that. Oh, it's being built. Okay, yeah, because of course we're just building up a big carrier group at the moment. Oh, yes, that's fine. That's okay. I played has been very, very busy. It's just, yes, yeah, so we've got more battle cruisers, more cruisers coming in as well. Uh, let's have a quick look at our carrier battle group. So we've got 10 cruisers and 8 battleships. So that's quite a lot of of a uh, little assault craft being thrown out. Why is our cruiser being upgraded? Okay, well, well we can upgrade that. That's fine. That's, it's all good. It's all good. We'll go through and update our ships. And, oh, I need to get these planets under... Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. What's going on here? We don't have a leader. Mm. I completely forgot about this. So, we have four new colonies, because, you know, why the hell not? The AI really likes to colonise. Oh, it goes mad. Oh, hello. This is a lot of minerals, isn't it? All these minerals. Uh, well, let's... Let's knock these things down because don't need that. But I would like more of these. Absolutely. 
So that's very exciting. This is a Gaia world as well. A size 25 Gaia world. Holy shit. Really? All right. Don't know where they got it, but okay. Um, none of that, none of that. Food from jobs. Let's just get Dussel. Dussel, you're in, because you're a floating turtle jellyfish, and uh, that's basically the only reason. Okay, let's get a couple of city districts here. Let's get a couple of city districts here. Don't really know what I want to do with this. What does it have? And I, oh, it's got an alien zoo. Interesting. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Let's do that. Uh, luxuries distributed and high gravity. Okay, good. So we've actually got quite a lot of systems beyond Rakaron, so maybe I should think about moving the Rakaron defense station. The only thing being that we do have this L gate down here, and when I prod the L gate, depending on what comes through, uh, we might, might have to defend Rakaron station, which is currently what we're looking at there. Boom. 19k. We built, Boom. we built something. It's pretty good. There's our fleet returning from their victory. Good work, guys. Nice effort. Boom. We built something. Yeah, I, I know we did. I know we did. Technology, what we got? Uh, four months, seven months. I really want that last L gate inside, despite the fact that I'm definitely not ready for it, and I will probably not wait. Too excited. Has I played finished? I think it has. Uh, let's go to here, and I will take the point of defense. Something like that. Yep. We can go with that. And you guys, we're going to go with that. Yes. Okay, very happy with that. Get out of the way. There we go. Right. You want to auto upgrade, so we'll save that. Your auto upgrade. Auto upgrade. Everyone should be auto. You're not auto upgrade. Auto upgrade. I guess if we did get the zero point module, complete. it would help with the smaller ships who don't have as much power. Like our, our, like our battleships. Well, you know, these guys actually don't have. You don't have enough power to run, apparently. Hyper shields, sensors, blah, blah, blah. Okay, maybe we should get more power. Maybe that's a thing. Okay, let's go and upgrade you, upgrade you, and upgrade you. I'm very happy with my three little freaks. We've got 20k there, 17 and 16. That's pretty good. Our carrier group does need to be defended because it is just carriers. So it's, it's going to have to go around with one other fleet. But we can maybe send it around with um, the Galog Voidfarers. And then the Son Valith Voidfarers can just be by themselves, maybe defending our territory while our carrier group and uh, the Golag Voidfarers go out and uh, deal death to our enemies. Can we actually... Technology acquired. Oh, there's a little carrier group. Look at it. It's so good. I'm so pleased. I really want to fight someone so I can see them in action. Um, I don't really need that. Fleet command limits. I mean, I'm, all my, I'm pretty much at my limit as it is. So, do we not have this yet? That would probably be a good shout. So, I mean, that's going to take that's going to take a very short amount of time to grab. So, we'll do that. And these guys coming back to upgrade. That's all good. Uh, you are... What was I going to do with you? Oh, I know what I was going to do with you. I was going to turn you into an anchorage. So you need to do that. We'll then upgrade you. We need more gun batteries here. Plus... Uh, what does this do? Technology acquired. Gives us 10 physics research. Who needs 10 physics research? Not me. Um, what I do need is... Disruption field? Yeah, let's get that. Okay, we've got the Citadel. Excellent. Good. 
I mean, that tech's almost finished. I'm not bothered by antimatter missiles, really. More research from engineering does sound quite good. We've currently got 594, so almost 600 engineering research. So that would boost it up quite a bit. We've got enough consumer goods at the moment. Cruiser hull points, though. Let's get that. I'm hoping for another Elge in sight. I just need one more. What? Why aren't you connected? Oh, yeah, yes, we would like to extend our deal. I wish you could just maybe go, yeah, just keep extended it. I don't care. I guess sometimes they do put the price up. So that's probably, probably why. Oh, uh, yes, we want more anchorages there. How strong is this station just by itself? 2.3. Okay, that's not going to slow anything down. But then it's not a defense station, so it's not supposed to. Let's upgrade you. And Rakaron's going to get upgraded as well. Sort of running low on alloys, but on the other hand, we are getting 100 a month. So I think we're going to be okay. Plus, when Vacrodil is finished, we're going to have so many alloys, we won't know what to do with them. Which is the correct number of alloys. How's the galaxy looking? Packed. Okay, we've got that. It's nice. Assault army. Um, mm, naval capacity. Well, Xeno outreach center, potentially. Self-modification. I don't know. I mean, naval capacity... Meh. Paradise Dome. Housing and amenities. I mean, we've got so many... commercial complexes that amenities is not really a problem. Uh, let's... Let's go combat training, because it's, it's going to be quite quick. It's going to be quite quick. What I do need to make sure is that Kiflatar Secondus has more... Uh, oh, once we finish that, we can get the research centre in here, can't we? Yes. And we want to start upgrading these once we have finished. I mean, basically, this is going to be entirely research. So we've currently got 137, uh, 124, and 111 research. And a lot of this population is intelligent. So yeah, so these guys are intelligent, so that increases it by 10%. That's very nice. These guys aren't, but they're charismatic, so that's good. So they create more amenities, so that's all good. Um, yeah, so I... It's going to be finished in 97 days, and we can get a research uh, capital there. Complex, whatever it's called. What's it called? Research Institute. There you go. Have one of those there. That'll increase the research output by another 15%. We built something. Did we? Uh, Alf Alpide Secondus. Okay, good. Which is this one here. Yeah, you've got enough pots. I think we're doing food with you, aren't we? Just to be on the safe side, so let's get all the food, because frankly, I don't have time. To be honest, I probably should automate some of these, but like, I mean, Pondak Mog, right? It's got, it's pretty much full. So I could probably actually go and automate this one. But, well, am I going to? Let's clear out all those. What's going on here? Oh, we can upgrade you. Okay, we'll upgrade you there. Do we actually have anyone working as psychics? Because you don't know. Because you need to be a psychic to actually work in the psychor. So if you don't have... Right, so there's no point in that being there. We're just going to be on the stronghold. It is Kadia. It's got a, it's got a planetary shield. And its armies are currently at 2,451, which means they would need to bombard the shit out of that planet to even get close. So I think we're going to be more than fine there. Uh, Woodbull Prime does have... Uh, we could... Are we, how's our resources doing? We're doing really well there. How many crystals? Crystals is six. So let's upgrade a couple of them. That will give us more consumer goods. Consumer goods is, is currently fine. Alloys is mostly what I'm worried about, but we're getting 100 of those a month. So that's, that's a lot of alloys, to be honest. And our fleets are very, very strong. 
if we were bordering a fallen empire, I probably would have a go. I'd have a pop. But we are. Where are the we fallen really empires? The Over on there. These ships. To be honest, the main problem is I don't really have. The, I mean, could I? I could invade the Cyclops people. Could do that. Question is, do I want to? Is there any point? I mean, they're not going to put up much of a fight, and it would just be more planets to deal with. Which, at the moment, I've, I've frankly got enough planets. I feel like I've got a lot of very crappy planets that need to be built up, and that's going to take a while. I don't need more of them. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I, I, I could go and fight them, but I think I'm going to build my strength to to go into the L the L gate and uh, do that instead. Uh, let's have a quick check on. Okay, let's get you all up to max strength. You are. That's all fine. Uh, have we maxed you out? Yes, we've maxed you out. That's not. Ships upgrade. Maxed you out. And you are max. Well, we get another cruiser. Let's get another cruiser. But our fleets are all maxed out. What's going on? Uh, your Prathy and the Mirror. Well, I don't care about that. Although, weren't those guys friends? Are they no? Are they not friends anymore? Complete. The Reavers are still holding their own. In fact, it looks like they're making advances on the Marish Corporate Union. Interesting. The Shrek Kingdom is still very strong. They need to be dealt with at some point, but they could put up a good fight. They'd be good to... In fact, if I mean, we are still friends with these guys, aren't we? I haven't been checking. Yeah, we've still got a defensive alliance with them, which means that if anyone declares war on them, they'll have to fight us as well. Okay, Guardian Point Defense. Good. All this is... Well, I did, I did say I wanted more energy, didn't I? So let's go for the zero point module. It's only going to take 32 months. That also means that this fleet needs to be upgraded again. But that should be all good. And I'm just searching for that last Elgate in sight so I can prod it and see what happens. I think if I was playing a normal Empire, I'd probably be like invading the Alliance of Gurzana or something like that. But I'm supposed to be playing tall and I don't feel like I'm playing very tall. I've got 20 colonies so that's quite a lot our empire sprawl is 364 compared to our ministry cap of 120 so effectively doubling our technology costs uh, not that's like slowing us down at all i guess but construction complete i need to make more branch office but to be... i feel like i've kind of forgotten about branch offices but so we've got a job here, and that's going... The problem is the AI just closed them down. I don't have... Well, I do have influence. I should probably... Let's open up some new ones. Where do we... I mean, job has, has, has gone down pretty well, hasn't it? What about Seeker's Landing? It doesn't look massively populated, but... Oh, they closed it down recently there. How about Roskun? There we go. Uh, we'll build a smuggler's port and underground club. Sure. Sure, something like that. I should probably build some more on these guys because they're right next to me. Uh, don't. It's not a big. I wish you could see. I mean, that. Should have some. Yeah, okay, we'll do that there. Uh, build a smuggler's post. There's not actually a lot of people living here. But hopefully they'll build it up soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I mean, it's not like I've had friggin' ages to do that. It's a weird mix. Chemical. I got two chemical. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's. It's a size 25 world. I'm fairly sure they've held that for a long time and they haven't really done anything with it. And I don't quite. I, I think it's because they colonize relentlessly. establish one here smuggler's post and underground club sure what they got here so 
Ein ja. I don't know. I, I, I think it's because the AI just colonizes so many planets at the same time. It spreads them so thin. Whereas I think if you're a bit more like careful about what you colonize, it's actually faster in the long run. So I think the AI colonizes crap loads of shit and then struggles to actually build it all up. Whereas the player will only colonize one or two worlds and then build them up over time, which is a, a better strategy. So maybe there needs to be some toning down of how sort of overzealous the AI is at uh, colonizing everything. Because I have noticed very early on, like within the first sort of like 30 odd years of the game, the AI has colonized everything in its borders, like just everything. And I know it gets bonuses to population growth and stuff, but still, it's a little bit mad. Oh well, we'll worry about that next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC.